These children are seriously disabled, almost helpless. They come here hoping for something better, to be able to play, to move around, and enjoy the energy of childhood. Among the eucalyptus trees by Tel Aviv's Yarkon River, the Israel Sports Center for the Disabled extends a caring welcome. Through the center's rehabilitative athletic activities, more than 2,000 disabled children gain in strength, self-confidence, and self-esteem. Coach Itzik Rudik is devoted to his disabled athletes, providing personal attention. He's coaching them on wheelchair control to help overcome their limited mobility. It's very difficult, says Noam. I'm tired, but very happy. The wheelchair replaces the legs of the disabled. It trains the kids to control the wheelchair better and faster. Mariel Arbitman immigrated to Israel from the former Soviet Union. He's paralyzed in both his arms and legs, and he's also mute. At the center, he learned to do things he never dreamed he could. Like the game of table tennis he played with Prime Minister Ehud Olmert during his visit to the center. The children love wheelchair basketball. In addition to its physical benefits, the game teaches them how to cooperate with peers to achieve goals. These youngsters learn to tap their inner energies. They're trained to work hard, to persevere, and summon their resolve, crucial factors for their success in life. Swimming is great for rehabilitation and recreation. It strengthens all the muscles in the body as it refreshes the spirit. Over 1,800 disabled children take part in the center's water sports activities. More than 250 young volunteers serve as assistant coaches at the center, providing one-on-one -on -one attention for every child. Swimming and hydrotherapy have been considered as one of the most beneficial activities for children with physical disabilities. This is not surprising, since the water environment allows movement opportunities that are not able to be achieved on land. Furthermore, it's fun. Table tennis develops the upper body, hones hand-eye coordination, and exercises instinctive reactions. And it's energizing. Head coach Baruch Hagai, an Israel Prize laureate, leverages his Olympic and international sporting experience to help young athletes develop their competitive spirit. He's convinced that what the kids learn at the center will help them greatly in the future. My arms are stronger and it's great. Wheelchair table tennis is one of the most fun things in my life. It gives me speed and great excitement. I love it. I will be a champion one day. I feel I will be a champion. The center's kindergarten provides disabled children with state-of-the-art rehabilitation therapy. Five-year-old Don is a novice swimmer. In the pool, he says, I feel like a fish in water. Paralyzed in a terrorist attack, Eli Samira also lost some of his ability to speak, but his achievements at the center speak volumes on his behalf. Asael Shabo lost more than his leg in a terror attack. He lost his mother and three sisters. His athletic activity is a key to his spiritual and psychological healing. With its very modest means, the center has developed one of the world's largest and most ambitious wheelchair sports programs. Friends and supporters in Israel, the United States, and England provide 99% of the center's budget. Just 1% comes from the government. Your support is crucial.
It enables disabled youngsters to continue their rehabilitation, lifting them from helplessness and helping them clean their place in society as they build their lives. Your generosity can shape their future. I did that Thank you for hearing.